Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! Say its name three times, and you may just summon yourself a bad habit that's harder to shake than the bioexorcist himself. Chewing it will turn your mouth bright red, and over time, may even permanently stain your teeth. Despite the risks that come along with mowing on it, hundreds of millions of people around the world use this plant to feel invigorated on the regular. This is Beetle Nut. Hey, I'm Tasha the Amazon, and you're watching Flora Logic. Today we're talking about Beetle Nut, the seed of a highly addictive plant that's had cultural significance across Asia for thousands of years. The term betel nut describes the seed of Areca catechu, or Areca palm. This is the best known member of the 51 species that belong to the Areca genus. It's believed to be native to the Philippines, but grows in the Western tropical Pacific, South and Southeast Asia, and even as far away as Eastern Africa. It's chewed primarily throughout India, parts of China, and in a lot of South Asia, where many groups use it because of its cultural significance. Areca palm is a medium-sized plant as far as palms go, reaching heights of up to 20 meters, Despite its tall stature, its trunk only reaches diameters between 10 and 15 centimeters, classifying this plant as a long, tall sally. The fronds can reach two meters long and are pinnate, meaning they have lots of little leaflets on either side of the stem. Areca catechu is not to be confused with Dipsis lutescens, also sometimes called Areca palm, which is a common houseplant native to Madagascar that's been naturalized from Florida to Central America and across the Caribbean. While sometimes called beetle palm, the beetle part of beetle nut actually has nothing to do with the areca seeds itself. The name actually comes from the common practice of chewing them with beetle leaves, otherwise known scientifically as piper beetle. Beetle is a vine with glossy, heart-shaped leaves that grows in South and Southeast Asia. It's a member of Piperaceae, or the pepper family, and is used primarily for adding some hot, hot, hot flavor to the beetle nut chewing experience. To make the matter of its name yet more confusing, while not being related to beetle in any way, areca nut is also not a nut. It's actually the seed of a fruit, technically classified as a berry. So I guess we should be calling them areca berries instead of beetle nuts? But who's counting? Beetle nuts can be bought fresh, cured, or dried, and are chewed to give users a boost they may soon become hooked on. What makes the beetle nut so addictive is an alkaloid called arecaline, which acts as a stimulant. It gives the chewer a high feeling similar to that of nicotine. The favorite fashionable vice is the chewing of the beetle. Note, the beetle is not a crawling insect, but a biting hot pepper leaf. Users claim it gives them a feeling of euphoria, well-being, greater alertness, and an increased capacity to work. Unlike nicotine, arecaline acts on different receptors in the brain, which may be part of the reason why it has an effect on the parasympathetic nervous system. Known as the rest and digest part of the nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system slows the heart, dilates blood vessels, increases digestive juices, and relaxes muscles in the gastrointestinal tract. Because of its effect on this system, chewing beetle nuts can ramp up heart rate, blood pressure, sweating, and even body temperature. It's like a hard workout, just, you know, for your insides. Like nicotine, arecaline is highly addictive. The signs of a dependency on beetle nut aren't hard to miss, as prolonged use stains the teeth in a variety of shades, from brownish red to black. To enhance its stimulating effect, slaked lime, otherwise known as calcium hydroxide, is chewed with the beetle nut. The lime is usually made of burnt seashells and coral and crushed to a soft white powder, which, when chewed, causes hundreds of tiny cuts in the mouth, allowing the arecaline to better penetrate the bloodstream. When beetle nut, beetle leaf, and slaked lime are wrapped up together in a little packet to be chewed, it's called a beetle quid. Making up the quid is an art. A slice of areca nut is smeared with tinted lime and wrapped in the leaf of the peppery beetle plant. The contents and ingredients of the quid vary greatly depending on tradition or practice. Sometimes beetle quid contain tobacco or have cardamom, clove, or other spices added for extra flavor. Having a good chomp on a beetle nut, as far as we've found, dates back thousands and thousands of years. An archaeological dig in northwest Thailand revealed traces of likely piper beetle seeds in a site dated between 5500 and 7000 BCE. In Duyang Cave in the Philippines, the skull of a man with beetle-stained teeth from almost 5000 years ago was found. Later, around the first century CE, the first references to beetle nut appear in Indian literature. It's from these discoveries that researchers have speculated its use began in Southeast Asia and moved west over time. 
Overchomping on betel nut has been associated with increased risk of developing oral diseases and cancer. Its widespread use has actually been referred to as a neglected global public health emergency. Yikes. You see those tiny cuts that the slaked lime causes to allow the arecoline to better penetrate the blood? Yeah. They also allow potentially cancer-causing chemicals to penetrate the tissue of the mouth and throat as well. Once inside, these chemicals change the very nature of the cells. This can lead to all sorts of diseases, including an increased risk of cancers like squamous cell carcinoma, which grows in the uppermost layers of the skin. Papua New Guinea, for example, where betel nut is chewed en masse by men, women, and children alike, has the highest rate of oral cancer in the world. But it's not all doom and gloom for the humble betel nut. Clinical studies have shown that patients with schizophrenia, for example, may benefit from moderate areca consumption. More studies, however, need to be conducted for us to fully understand the potential benefits of non on the bee nut. So what should we talk about next? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. Bye! The lime is usually made of birth coral and bad people. Oh, jeez. I was gonna say boner, boner, boner. Boners, boners, boner, boners.